Hi everyone, this is just a quick little video to show you what can go wrong with the photo uh, with the pen tool and how to kind of get past understanding what it does. You are going to create a little doodle to put on your blog, but watch what I do and see if you can't get it to control. So when people pick up the pen tool for the first time, and it's wonderful for drawing straight lines and curves, but people get a little confused about how to make that all happen. Here's what I mean. They'll start playing with it, and they start to get all this stuff that they don't understand what's going on. What's going on with that? And they keep trying to click and trying to figure it out, and pretty soon they just have this big giant mess on their screen. So don't forget to have your history window open so that you can go back in time and clean it all off. Okay, now here's what you should understand. If you click once, you're going to start a path. When you click the second time, it does a straight line to connect the two points up. And if I click again, it'll get a straight line. However, if I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing with the pen tool, and I kind of click and drag, oh, I get a curve. I get these 20, funny transient lines that let me change the direction of the curve. And then I let go and I click again. Oh, I got another curve. So I created a curve and then I clicked again and I got another curve. And then when I click again, if I'm paying attention, I'm moving my mouse and just click, I get a straight line. And I'll keep getting just straight lines if I move and click, move and click, move and then click. But if I click, hold, and slightly drag, I start that curve thing, and I know the second time I click, I'm going to get another curve. And then I'll be back to making straight lines. So it's click, move, click, move, click, and if I want a curve, I click and just hold down the mouse and drag. And the next time, I'm going to get a curve. And then I'm going to get a straight line again. So I'm moving and clicking, but when I want a curve, I click, hold, drag, and I get the curve. And I can adjust it so long as I keep hold of that little brown dot on the tangent line. So I'm going to finish this off by doing some straight lines, doing a curve. I don't care which way it curves. And then I want to come back here. And you see that little circle next to the pen tool? It says I'm going to complete the path. Always complete the path. Say that a couple of times in your mind. I'm going to complete the path. I'm going to complete the path when I see that circle, and I am done. Now, to finish this off so I can say that I've made a shape, I come up here to the option bar, and I click Selection. And it turns the path, if I say OK to this, whatever comes up, say OK, into Marching Ants. And if I do Option Delete, I get some color in there. And I'm going to post this on my blog by making and making a rectangle selection around it. Coming up here to image and choosing a crop. And I'm going to go to file and save as. Make sure it's going into the desktop. And I'm just going to call it doodle. And I hope that you will make a doodle too to put on your blog. But let's make sure we also save it. Oop, I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Make sure that you save it as a ping. Ping, ping, ping. Doodle, ping. Put it on your desktop so that you can put it on your blog. Woo! Have fun just kind of exploring that tool. Bye!